Meredith. Uh, I'm a classical composer who's recently started getting into electronics. I got into music um, through playing clarinet and playing in sort of youth orchestras. So I guess growing up I was mostly playing lots of Shostakovich. And I started, I suppose, studying to become a classical composer. So I went to Royal College of Music and sort of uh, I've been following, I suppose, the last you know, 10 years quite a traditional composery route of writing for big orchestras. Um, and you know that sort of side of concert commissions. When I write classical music I um, always have quite clear ideas about the sort of rhythms and harmonies I use and actually this electronic stuff uses very similar uh, harmonies and rhythms so there's not I don't see it as actually very different in terms of the material because my way of thinking about the pieces and how I plan them I still plan them out in manuscript and I still use a lot of the same uh, builds of shapes and I structure things out with paper in the same way that I do with my classical stuff uh, but I think the idea of wanting to be more involved in electronics is I've never been a brilliant crafts person. I've never been a composer who loves getting the balance of three flutes and sacks, you know, perfect. I've always been someone who's got, had bigger, big brushstroke ideas and I was finding over time, it's quite scary as a composer because you finish a piece for orchestra and then you hand it over to a conductor and then you sit back in the premiere with sweaty hands shitting yourself because there's nothing you can do, you're powerless. Orchestras are amazing if you're right in it but sometimes there's a feeling of detachment and feeling like you're watching stuff on TV and I wanted to be able to make things uh, more overwhelming. I've never really listened to much electronic uh, music, I mean I've you know the st studenty stuff but I, my, my tastes are embarrassingly kind of mainstream and I've, I find that whenever I'm writing, which I guess is most of the time I'm, I've got some kind of commission that um, I find that if I listen to almost anything, I find it very distracting. This EP is all electronics, and a lot of people have listened to it and said, oh, you, got, you must have got all your friends in to play brass instruments and saxophones. And when I do it live, I do use uh, live instruments as well. And initially I was very worried about how much it mattered if the samples sounded like instruments or not. And I've come to realize I don't actually, it doesn't, matter to me. I've worked with my sister uh, for a long time um, doing music and visuals together. We've done orchestral pieces where she's created visuals and we were very close and very similar um, and our brains seem to work quite similarly so I know if I describe what a track is or I show her a sketch and my sketches for pieces are quite visual and the ideas behind them will be sometimes something quite visual like um, uh, I don't know, a melting battleship or something. That's actually a really crap idea and doesn't exist. But anyway, there'll be something that she could maybe grab onto. So uh, I've loved what she's done for the artwork for the EP. She's created this kind of series of animals in space. Um, and they're, to me, a great fit with the music because they're kind of confident, but also a bit irrever irreverent. And then I've also had this video made for Nautilus, uh, which was made by Tony Comley, who's an animator, who has a very different style to Ellie. It's much cleaner. Uh, again, it's got a sort of confidence and slight insanity to it. I'm slightly freaked out, but pretty happy.